Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at regular expressions for PostgreSQL. Enjoy. This chart is very important. I will be given an example of each of these so you thoroughly understand regular expressions. Let us dive into regular expressions. I just selected all the data. Notice we have 1,000 rows to work with. In our first expression, notice that it begins with tilde. And then the caret represents begins with. Notice it says begins with ch. Execute that. Notice they begin in ch. Here we're saying begins with cha. So the list is going to get smaller. And then we're saying begins with chr. In our next example, we're going to begin with the set a through c. Let's see how that works out. Execute. And notice we have A's and then uh, through C. Here you can see that we're going to begin with E through G. And here are U to Z. I think you get it. Now we're looking at the set A, C, and E. This is like using the OR clause. So I want everything that starts with A, C, or E. In this example, everything that starts with V, Q, or Z. The order in the placement here does not matter. Notice this one right here. They're not in alphabetical order, and we will execute that. So we learned how to query the front. Now we're going to start with the, the end. Notice, begin regular expression, and then dollar represents the end. So here I want to end in I-O end. In the next example, you'll see I want to end in E-D. And the final example we'll want to do with Y. Let's do one at a time. I-O-N, notice, E-D, and then uh, Y. Everything ends in Y. Here we're using set notation. Notice E and R, and then ends in Y. So it either ends in EY or RY. Let's see that work. There's an RY and there's an EY. Excellent. Now we're going to look at contains. So RAN is contained within a title. Notice RAN is in there somewhere. Here you can see I'm using R-A-N or I-O-N. And those contain in there. In this next example, we're going to look at, it begins with I through K, zero or more characters, and then has an S-S or an I-S in it. In the next example, we're going to say the title contains R-A-N, I-O-N, or ends in E-D. Notice here we're saying exclamation. We say in programming that's not. So not begins with A. So you should never see one that begins with A. And here we're saying not begins with A or B. And here we're saying not begins in the range A through S, so it should begin with T. And in this example, we're saying it begins with T. Dot star says, hey, any amount of characters, zero or more, and it must have a Z in there. So it must have a T and a Z. So let's see that work. So there's your T, Tarzan, and Truman Crazy. Nice. Notice it begins with T, any amount of characters, zero or more, and it must end in ZY dollar. Dollar represents the end. Truman Crazy. Now we're going to look at case sensitivity. So notice here, I'm going to say, give me a title where there is a CY. It contains a CY. And notice that we can see several CYs in here, right? CY there, and uh, you know, there's CY here, 
see why there. And then we can say, hey, don't worry about how it's capitalized. I just want everything that's uh, CY. And notice now we have a capital CY, little CY. Here I'm saying I don't care. On this one right here, I cared. It had to be a little CY. The second letter must be an A. Notice we say dot, dot is any letter, must begins with the second letter is an A. In our second example, notice it starts with A, any letter, one or more, then a space, and then must start with a D, uh, any letter, one or more. Let's do that. Earlier, we learned about case sensitivity. Notice I'm saying must start with A, any letter, one or more, a space, and then a D, one or more letters thereafter. Don't care about case. Don't care about case must start with A, E, I, O, U, and then be followed by at least one character. Then the second word must begin with a D. And then title, uh, case sensitivity, don't care about, does cannot have, cannot begin with A, E, I, O, U, and the second letter must begin with a D. In our next example, notice that we turn off case sensitivity. The first character, there must be zero or many of them, and I must have an E, and there must be one of them, followed by any character. Oh, look, zero or many of them, followed by an E. So this right here is just going to get something that has a bunch of E's in it. And notice we have Beethoven all the way down to cheaper. In this example right here, notice we turn off case sensitivity. It starts with BR, question mark says, Previous character must have zero or one of them, so must have one R. Let's execute this. Notice we have these ones. But now if I say BR without the question mark, the plus symbol represents many or one. So one or many, so you'll see the difference between these two. Notice we'll just get the bottom two rows. Here, I want it to begin with A, B, C, D, and followed by two additional characters, a space, and then it must begin with another zero or many. The next example, don't care about case, A through Z, two characters, The next one must begin with any three characters followed by uh, any character at least one time. In the next one, I don't care what the first character begins with, but it must be followed by A, E, I, O, U, and then another letter, then a space, and then at least one character in the second word. So look at that, just three characters in the first word, and then many in the second. And our last example begins with any character, and then not. The second letter cannot be A, E, I, O, or U, and then the third letter, I don't care about, a space, and then at least one character in the second word. And there you have regular expression. Regular expression is something that you're going to need to practice, and practice makes the master. I hope you learned something here, and I look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Have a good week.